Hey guys, it's your favorite math teacher, Miss Flint. Today, we're going to divide decimals to the hundredths place, 5 NBT 7. We will focus on standard algorithm and models. Let's get started. Before we jump into dividing with standard algorithm, let's talk about a little vocabulary we may need to know throughout the video in order to understand. What you're looking at now is a division problem with decimals. Look at the purple arrow. What part of the division problem is this known as? You guessed it, that is the dividend. The dividend is what is being split. So in class, we call this the whole. Take a look at the blue arrow. The blue arrow is called the right, the divisor. The divisor is going to be how much is in each group. So we're splitting the whole into groups and 76 hundredths is how much each group will be worth. To find out how many groups you have, you will divide. When you finish your division problem, you will receive something called a, it goes right here. Any guesses? That's right, the quotient. The quotient is the answer to a division problem and is how many equal groups you can find. All right, let's get started with standard algorithm. When doing standard algorithm, there are two types of problems that you will see. The first one is when you have a decimal in the divisor and the dividend. So, Look at the problem, 1 and 82 hundredths divided by 76 hundredths. Before we can begin to divide, we will need to make our divisor a whole number. Do you remember how to do this? Well, this is how. First, where is the understood decimal go for a whole number? That's right, it will move all the way to the right and go behind the last digit. So, to do that, we'll need to move our decimal one two places to the right. Add your decimal, X out your old. Whatever you do to the divisor, you also have to do to the dividend. So we will move our decimal one, two times in our div dividend also, and take it to the top of the division bar. All right, now we're ready to divide. 76 will go into one, zero times. It will go into eight, zero, 18 zero times. So 76 will go into 182 twice. Two times 76 is 152 with a difference of 30. Okay, now we'll need to add a decimal because we have, I mean, not a decimal, add a zero because we have nothing to bring down so that we can finish dividing. 76 will go into 300 how many times? Three. Three times 76 is 228, with a difference of 72. Add a zero, bring it down. 76 will go into 720 nine times. Nine times 76 is 684. Subtract, get a difference of 36. There we go. All right, add a zero, bring it down, and that'll give us 360. We've ran out of room, so we can just move our 360 right here to finish dividing. Okay, after we divide this section, we will actually be able to stop and round our answer 
for fifth grade purposes, we only need to have our answer to the hundredths place. So to get the most accurate answer, we're going to divide out to the thousandths place and then round. So how many times will 76 go into 360? It will go in four times. Four times 76 is 304 with a difference of 56. Okay, so now instead of saying our answer is 2 and 394 thousandths with remainder 56, we'll just, remain, we'll just round our answer to the nearest hundredths place. So find the place, that's the hundredths place, look next door, and box it. We have a 4 there, so our digit stays the same. So our final answer is 2 and 39 hundredths. Does anybody remember how to check? That's right. Use the inverse operation to check with multiplication. The second type of division problem that you will see for standard algorithm is when you have a decimal only in the dividend. Now these are a little bit more simplistic. Let's use the problem 1 and 20 hundredths divided by 12. 12 will go into 1 0 times. 0 times 12 is 0 with a difference of 1. Bring it down. Don't forget to bring it down every single time. And if you bring it down, remember, you have to divide. I'll show you why. 12 will go into 12 one time. 1 times 12 is 12 and a difference of 0. Now, you cannot stop here you still have a zero in the dividend, so you have to bring it down. Even though you have zero here, you say 12 will go into zero, zero times, zero times 12 is zero. Now you are finished. Don't forget, what did we forget to do? That's right, look at the decimal you have to take that decimal to the top of your division bar. So your answer is not 10, but all actually 1 tenth or 10 hundredths. You forget to place that decimal, which is a big misconception, your answer is wrong. All right, good job, y'all. Let's move on. Let's look at how to divide decimals using a model. To the right of the screen, you will see a hundreds grid. Why is this called a 100s grid? Well, it's called a 100s grid and used to represent hundredths because there are 100 little unit cubes sitting there in front of you. So now let's look at our division problem. We have the problem 80 hundredth divided by 20 hundredth. Before we get started, let's look at how this problem is set up. The first number is called the dividend. And the second number is called the, that's right, the divisor. The reason I wanted to go over that is because some children really get confused when you change how the problem looks. So, now we know. What will the answer be called? That's correct, the quotient. All right, step one for using a model. It's really very simple. How many units are in one of the sections here? That's right, 10. So, if you look at the first number, the dividend, we have an eight in the tenths place. So this is 80 hundredths or 8 tenths if you drop the zero because they are equivalent. So what we will do first is we will shade 80 hundredths or 8 tenths. So we have 10 20 30 
40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 or this is also called what 8 tenths. Okay, let me just finish shading this here. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you know what you did. In class, we spent time coloring this in to perfection with our crayons and markers on the whiteboard. Do y'all remember that? I know, I miss y'all too. Okay, so now next step is we are going to look at our divisor. We are going to see how many of our divisors will fit into our hole. So we're going to section their hole, our hole off into sections of 20 hundredths or 2 tenths. So I will do that by simply boxing every 20 hundredths or every 2 tenths. So here's 2 tenths or 20 hundredths. That's one group. Two groups. Three groups. And four groups of 20 hundredths or 2 tenths. So to get our answer, all we have to do is count how many total groups we have. And we see we have one, two, three, four groups. So our answer is four. All right, it's time to wrap it up. But before we do, we will look at a review and the misconceptions for dividing decimals. First, dividing decimals to in the divisor and dividend. Do not forget to move your decimal in the divisor and the dividend. Take your decimal to the top of the division bar. Divide normally and then round your answer to the hundredths place. And at the end, don't forget to use inverse operation to check your work, multiplication. Second, dividing decimals in the dividend only. Take your decimal to the top, divide normally, round your answer to the nearest hundredth and check your work. Finally, misconceptions. Don't forget that decimal. Check your work, remember this pattern. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring it down. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring it down. And don't forget to check your work. This concludes our video on dividing decimals. Thank you for watching.